here we are back on Squeal on Channel 31, Bed TV. It's your community station. And we've been joined now by the one and only <coughs> Sky Brooks. Hi, Sky. Yay! Hi, everyone. How are you? Very well. Now, um, thanks for coming in and, and taking some time out from your very hectic schedule today because you are the... Um, uh, show coordinator. Show, well, that's what I was trying to look for the word. Yes, yeah, show coordinator for today. That's, that's right, Tabitha, yes. <laughs> hey, perhaps you'd like to ask us some questions, Tab, because I'm reaching here. It's really all no, it's not. No, how hard is it, though, knowing, because they sort of would have come to you and asked you to get a show together. Mm. So how hard is it to go from scratch to know to something that's going to appeal to the whole crowd, because they've got such a diverse mix? Well, well that's the whole thing. Um, because these sort of events, they basically attract a lot of people that don't normally do clubbing and everything so um, generally a lot of the older queens as well so I think it's very important to not just cater for that especially during the day you can't have really heavy um, sort of like type of shows that would be normally at a dance party yeah. just colour and movement and fun you know which is the, the night progresses it gets a little bit more intense <laughs> where, where was Sky born? What literally? Li- see? No, t- no, the um, the drag persona, the perf- perf- the drag monster. Yeah. Um, actually, well, it was in Sydney. Um, we I was at university doing psych- um, psychology at the time, and there was a um, a talent quest um, at, at uh, Patches, this club that, which was now DCMs, and just six of us just went in there for fun. I mean, <laughs> you should. We look like dogs. I mean, you have no idea. Um, and we got actually, which is very rare thing in Sydney. We just got for work as a whole group so and I was 18 at the time um, and we had our own I was 18. Oh, you were 18? No, no. No, because she does have huge shows. Yeah, um, and I just started to start off having my own show when she was at 18 in Sydney. Hmm, that's what all happened. Uh, over the years, have you found it really difficult to get the, the support and the backup from the venues for your shows? Because I remember as a youngster in um, that town that we all escaped from very early on in Adelaide, um, that the shows, some of the shows that were done over there, in particular Underground that I remember, um, and the one that I said before with Onions Mad and Butterfly, I think that was, they were monsters, absolute monsters. The sets, the light, everything that was involved with them was huge. And I haven't seen anything like that since. Yeah, I just basically think, if anything, drag has regressed, not evolved. Um, it seems to be getting what I call drag on a box, which is, you know, a compare, spot, 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 spot. Um, it really, I mean, the, the feasibility of being on a big show in terms of venues making money out of it, it's not, it, because it's a different crowd coming out now, of course, which, I mean, the, the I've seen changes and evolves all the time, um, but I don't really think that um, because of all the high tech, you know, wizardry of, of you know um, television, movies, and everything, that that people are, people get bored very easily now to sit and watch a, a show for it to pay for itself. It's got to go for at least two, or three months if it has if it's got a lot of money in it, and the people just get you no. Know, I've seen that. I'm going to go and see it again. I know the trick. Yeah, so it's not really a feasible thing these days. So they want you know maximum um, sort of visuals and effort with minimal cost, but you can't do one without the other. It's yeah. a compromise, isn't it? Um, Annie, did you have something? Yes, I've just... Ah! A little birdie whispered to me that you do prisoner characters. Is this true? Uh, actually, yes, I do. I did. I have done, yeah. I was a great freak. Who do you do? Um, I did um, The Freak, of course, yeah. which I actually used to... We used to go out drinking together in Sydney with her and... Um, Maggie. Yeah, and with uh, Carol Skinner. <laughs> oh, d- dreadful. They were just awful. They were the taxi club in Sydney where you need gum boots, otherwise oh. you sink into the beer-sodden carpet. <laughs> know it well. Allegedly. Uh, yeah. Allegedly. I, I allegedly up. know it well. <laughs> hey, I tell you who's here. This is Simon... This is an extraordinary coincidence. Simon is a Prisoner fan club member from England. He was out here for the Prisoner party last year. He's back out here now trying to organise another bit of a do for next year, but... G'day. G'day, he said. And uh, this, uh, this is Sky who does Prisoner in, in her thing, so there you go. Were you part of the musical? No, Maggie Kirkpatrick was the only one that was... What was that like? Did you see the uh, Prison of the Musical in London? Got to go across to Simon. Did you see the musical? I did indeed. It was supremely trashy, I must say. <laughs> supremely trashy. I like that. It did Prisoner Proud, I think. Did Prisoner Proud. There you go. Maggie, Maggie was in it. She, um, uh, 
She had a ball. Who was the who's the drag queen? Lily Savage became a great mate. They became great mates. I'll take you back to Paul. Okay. Um, and where do you where would you like to see the future of drag here in Melbourne? I mean, that's a huge thing to to think about. What what's one thing that you could see as a positive step for for drag? Well, I just think, for one, uh, you know, at least a place where there could be good grad shows. And I don't mean regression, um, as in doing all the old crap that's been done before. I mean, drag, I mean, as I've said before, can be an art form. It can also be the cheapest form of entertainment there is. But I think available. that's what it is now. Yeah, like, exactly. And I, 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 cheap. Yeah. I don't see a place where any people at the moment are going to want to put yeah. the time or the effort in. And I agree with you. And like for a lot of the younger people that have never seen a, a d decent drag show, all they have to adhere to is what they see now yeah. and they think well I can put on a dress and mime to a top 40 song yeah. which is basically what drag has become and they Not do, all of it, but, but some of them do one number and they get like oh you were good and then they want money straight away <laughs> that they want everything straight As away and he says they haven't done their time on Maple Drive <laughs> <laughs> they're a loser as an arsehole <laughs> so how hard how hard is it then from going from you know you're living the Skybrook life and then living like an everyday life is it hard to switch off from from it or is it just like one in one? Well not anymore, I mean I have my own business now, I'm doing sound and video production. Whilst at one stage um, it, it's very hard to sort of, um, at one stage I was going out and drag all the time um, and it sort of takes over but I mean and I just realised that that was wrong you know because it, it, one I, I don't think I change as a person whether I'm in drag or out of drag, that's why I don't do microphone stuff because I think you have to have a personality, like a stage personality and that becomes what people know you as. I prefer just being on stage and being whatever character you can be, but I'm still myself. So the uh, Skybrook sense of humour you got isn't actually just uh, Skybrook's alone, it's to your own person as well? Yeah, definitely so, yeah. And I'm twisted, I'm cracked, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, so um, what I want to say is I dare one of the venue owners or managers out there that has the seating capacity and the staging capacity to launch a new production here in Melbourne, yeah. a new proper drag production. I dare you to have the balls to do it. Thank you very much, Sky, for coming in today. And if you do, get in touch with her because, yeah. you know, she's the queen. Um, thanks for coming in today. And a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. This has been uh, Squill here. And uh, now, sorry, we are going to <laughs> Hannah. That's ha, 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 <laughs> Hannah. I don't have a speech impediment, but I was told it was Anna. Take it away, <laughs> Hannah. Uh, look what I found here. Oh, let, let some knickers here now. Personal favourite of our uh, producer here, Steve, and he was picking out these ones before. Now, if you ask me, they're a bit small, Steve, but there you know. You go for your life, go for your flavour there. Now, what's coming up here on the 31st of March? We've got a Mine's 18 event. It's at Sub Club Lounge, 199 Commercial Road. So it's good everyone under 18 out for a drug and alcohol free event. Head on down that way. That's uh, a minus 18 there. Now, what's going on this week, hey? Now, I've got a date myself, and I don't know where I'm going to take you this week, but what we do have on in Melbourne is the uh, Melbourne Queer Film Festival. Oh, cool. Then what we've got, which night would you like to go out with me? <laughs> if you can't decide, here we go. We've got the best picks for the week at the Melbourne Queer Film Festival, and you can choose which one you want to go with me. Okay, now Monday we're looking at got local lesers, the good Melbourne flicks, some shorts from some um, great little girls uh, made around Melbourne here. Tuesday, if you're interested, of course. <laughs> we got Paragraph 175 down at the Capitol Theatre there. Wednesday, we're saying we're hitting definitely on the cocktails. For Thursday, where are we going? For Thursday, we're definitely suggesting you go to the Burlesque King. Also on at the Capitol at 8 p.m. And I'm going to skip Saturday because that's just our night alone at home. <laughs> but on Sunday, we're definitely, we've got the fine art finale there, the Crown Park. Nico and Danny down at uh, 9 p.m. at the Capitol Theatre. So the definite hit picks for the fantastic Melbourne Queer Film Festival this week. Now, this is yours, is it, darling? <laughs> oh, yes, you're, you're lovely. Oh, you're lovely. <laughs> Thanks, guys. She's gorgeous. <laughs> How are you? Um, I can see the balloon. Um, and now, just to prove to you today how much of a family affair it is today, we've got this gorgeous little girl that we found here. And what's her name? Kaylin. Kaylin. Hello, darling. Hi. Hi. Are you? You can say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. She's gorgeous. How old is she? She's 13 months. Yeah. Yes. She's just beautiful. Are you having a good day? 
Yeah. Fun. <laughs> oh, isn't that gorgeous? So there we go. And now I think we're going to go to a... Yes, I can hear them coming in. Uh, take it away, Monique. Yeah, yeah, Paul. I found the marching girls. I'm going to go and talk to her. I'll see if I can stop her. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I'm Vicky from the Melbourne yeah. Marching Girls. And what are you doing here? We are here at the Eric Game Lisbon Street Fair being Galaxy Girls. This was Galaxy our performance girls. from Mardi Gras. Right. And how was it at Mardi Gras? Fabulous. We loved it. Yeah, do you think I could join? Do I have all the moves? Yeah. Then. You keep doing that, I'll keep talking. Hello! Okay, and uh, now we're off to uh, another roving reporter, but... Come in, girls. My finger's not working, guys. Can we just... Oh, hang on, no, no, I think I've got it, Paul. I think, yeah, is that Monique? Monique, are you in there? Yeah, we're going back to Monique for another fabulous story out there. Come in, Monique. Well, it's time to merge the two media loves of my life Ben TV and Joy Melbourne. We're here with Jody Branton from Sunday Coming Down in the Program Committee and Joe Tomlins, who hasn't been around in a while, but she's back with us now and, of course, is involved in queer film and the gay and lesbian rights lobby. Ladies, how's that from the Joy perspective? How's it going this afternoon? It's fabulous. Lots of fun. Lots of action. Absolutely great day, isn't it? There's so many people. Like, considering it's a little bit blurky here in Melbourne, it's an absolutely fantastic day. Yeah. Now, well, the very, now the, the thing is, it is good to have Joy back, even if it is just for a day in this way. But, of course, Joy at the moment is off air, which is not pleasant. What, now, what's the situation with that? And how can we do something about it? When is Joy back on air? All those sorts of things. Well, we're coming, jo Joy's coming back on in May. Uh, so we're back on for a four-week broadcast with a four-day four day four day broadcast over that period. The ABA are going to have a court hearings in May, so the decision for the full-time licences may be around about September or October, and it'll be announced which community radio stations will receive a full-time licence. And we hope it's joy. And if you aren't a member... You know, sorry to do the plug here, but you need to join now. We need you. We need you to be a member. The more members, the better our chances of getting a licence. And of course, what's that number to phone during office hours for Joy if you want to become a member or support us in any way? 969-00907. Jody, that number again. 969-00907. Jody and Joe, thank you very, very much. And well, I'm draw. Well, let's say I'm just my heart is pounding with combining Joy and Bent together. But seriously, we need both media, and all we can say is go Joy. Yeah, go Joy! that was great. This is our last segment coming up next, and we'll be going by Positive Women. So go and do yourself something nice to yourself. And um, we'll see you for our next segment, which will be segment three, and then we'll have another one after that. <laughs> and then just keep doing things, things that make you happy. And we'll see you very soon here on Channel 31, Bent TV, your queer, gay community television station, transgender and lesbian. Bye. Oh, 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 my, oh my God, she swallowed. <laughs> it's all right, 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 it's all right,